What's up ghouls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought I'd film for you a little first impressions video. I've never filmed a first impressions video, to my knowledge. Um, so I'm really excited to try this. Um, yeah, I hate that I always clap in videos. I can't stand it, it's so annoying. The products I'm going to be trying for the first impressions videos are these lip kit type things from Primark. Not basic, boring, Kylie knockoff things, but um, these Get Lippy Holographic Collection kits from Primark, so they're £3, they come with a lip liner, a lip gloss and a glitter. So this set is in, does it have, oh, in the shade Fantasy, which you are not going to be able to see, there you are, Fantasy. Um, so it should look something like this when I'm done, although I'm not sure where the blue and stuff has come from because there's no blue in the kit. So my idea was to try and replicate exactly what is on the picture. So I may have to bring in some outside resources for that. Um, the other one is in the shade Galaxy, um, which looks like this. So it's like a more purpley one. So again, you've got a lip liner, a lip gloss and a glitter. And again, this one has hints of blue. So I'm going to have to bring in more outside help. But as you can see, my eye makeup is matched to the colours and the tones of these lip kits. Um, so I had this eye makeup on in my um, first tattoo experience video. Um, so I looked very over the top for just a standard talking video. That is because I'm filming it on the same day as these first impressions. So I'm going to start off with probably the white um and then i'm gonna try this one so i may have to cut the talking i may have to kind of speed through some of it so that um i can fit both in it's not super long and boring but hopefully this will still be a good video so i'm very scared to try this so i'm going to take off my lipstick that i'm wearing now and then we'll crack on wish me luck <laughs> okay so i have oh, i'm wriggling i have cleaned off the lip collar so I have bare lips. I'm so sorry I had to come this close to the camera. Um, <laughs> at least there's a ring light so my skin looks moderately better. Moderately? Slightly? I don't, I don't know. Um, so before I do anything I'm going to pop on some lip balm uh, which will soak in while I'm getting everything ready. Okay so to kick off this first impressions video I'm going to talk about the packaging. Um, so for the fantasy one which is more silvery and white and probably more holographic than the other one. Um, the packaging is really cool, it's really funky and modern and interesting with these holographic-y type bits along the sides and it's just, you know, aesthetically pleasing. Um, the only thing I would like is that I can't see on here so far is that there's no like instructions. I mean obviously it can't be too hard to put on some lip liner and some glitter and whatnot but it would be cool to have some kind of instructions so that's the only negative I would have to say about that. Um, yeah, I think I prefer the packaging and the colour scheme and stuff for this one, the Galaxy one, um, as this just seems more exciting because it's more colours and stuff and it's more textured and more glittery. Um, yeah, I'm super excited to try these. But like I said earlier, they both have hints of blue in the pictures, but neither of them have blue in the lip kits, so I don't understand why they would do that if there's no blue because then, you know, you're not going to properly achieve these if you're just using the products in the packet, so that's kind of annoying. But yeah, I'm going to start with the white and we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to try and open this up. Okay, so everything is out of the packet, I'm ready to get started. So I'm going to like blot my lips first on some kitchen roll, because like I said, I already put some lip balm on. And I'm going to need, lead? I'm going to need a nice flat non sticky base for this look so I'm going to zoom in slightly wrong way so I'm going to start off with the white pencil and I'm a little bit concerned that this isn't going to work as well as I would like to I'm worried it's not going to be super pigmented so I have my Kat Von D locket concealer around for emergencies and <laughs> um, so I'm going to swatch it on my hand first doesn't have like a colour or anything does it, no. Okay. 
You can just about faintly see it on there. Um, well, I'll give it a go. Where is my hand mirror gone? I'll give it a go, but we may have to resort to the concealer. Oh, this is really cool. It's like, um, iridescent and shimmery. Which you can see, so that's really cool. So this would just give like an overall sheer look. But I, like I said, I want to go for the picture, which is like properly white. So I'm going to wipe that off, go in with a white concealer, and I will be back. Okay, so for the base on my lips, I use the Kat Von D Whiteout Concealer. I just can't even <laughs> look at myself while I'm talking because I just look ridiculous. So I use the Kat Von D Whiteout Concealer and then I started to set it with linen from the Metal Matte Palette, but I found that um, I needed properly matte base. So I ended up going in with Cryolan's Translucent Powder and I patted it on with Beauty Blender for extra... I don't know. <laughs> extra matteness so I think before I go in with any of the colours I'm gonna add a bit of blue and a light dusting of purple to the outer corner I'm gonna do like a blue stripe across there a little bit of purple there's a tiny bit of yellow as well but I'm not really keen on that so I might just leave that out um, like I said I'm going for that look so that is what I'm gonna do next and to do that I'm gonna take my Morphe palette my Morphe 35S, my Real Techniques 203 fluffy blending brush because I just want to do like a really light wash up colour. So for the blue stripe, I'm going to start off really lightly with this light blue shade and then top it up if I need to. This brush may be a little bit too big for this. Actually, no, I'm not going to use that brush. I'm going to use that for the purple, but for the blue, I think I'll take this one. So for the blue, I'm going to take the Real Techniques shading brush because I want more precision for the blue. So going in with that same shade. Just ignore this cheek piercing, it's playing up. Just don't look at it. <laughs> so yeah, we've got like a little light wash of colour now. So it's more similar to what is on the box. So now it's time to play with the actual products. So I'm going to take the lip liner and I'm going to put that all over the lips for that shimmery effect before I start with anything else. seems to do is kind of give the effect of how the alchemist up palette powders look over the top of eyeshadow and stuff so as you can see here um, I've used the alchemist palette in this inner corner and it's really like shimmery and iridescent and it's giving the same kind of effect on my lips with this pencil so it's really really drying it doesn't feel nice on your lips at all but the texture that it gives and the the look is really really cool so I like that Next, I'm going to go in with the lip gloss, and I can use that as a base to set my glitter. So, I think I'm going to focus it on the middle part. Now I'm just going to add some glitter and hope for the best, because it's rubbing the makeup off and it's really winding me up. So I'm going to take a just a flat brush, and this doesn't have a brand or anything, I got it for Christmas in a set, and I'm going to use that to pack on the glitter. I'm going to start off quite lightly. 
and see how it goes. It is a really, really pretty glitter and it's really fine. So if you don't want super over the top glitter, this is quite a nice option. You can build it up. Oh my God, you can barely see the glitter, but it has a really cool effect on camera. But it is rubbing off my under layer of the white, so I'm not super happy. I'm not loving this <laughs> this kit. Um, I love the glitter. I think the glitter is really, really cool. Um, it's a really fine glitter. It's white with little accents of pink and of, if I take the top off so you can see it better, with white and blue and just all kinds of multi. There goes half of it onto my studio floor. But yeah, so you can see it there. Um, I do really, really love the glitter. I think the glitter is really cool. The idea of the lip kit is really cool, but I'm not loving that. It's somewhat better in real life than on camera. On camera, it just looks stark white. Maybe if I turn the ring light off. I'm not loving it. I am not loving this lip kit. I'm gonna say this one's a fail. Okay, so I'm back, I've washed it off, and I've patted my lips dry again with kitchen paper. Um, my lips feel really dry and not very nice, but we're gonna soldier through. So we're onto the purple now, and I've just pulled out the lip liner, which is a purpley color. Um, so I'm gonna swatch it. Um, it's a lot more pigmented than the white, which I would expect anyway. So I'm gonna try and pop this on my lips as a base. If it's not good, then we'll go for a liquid lipstick. Okay, so same as with the uh, white, it's not pigmented enough to stand on its own. It just looks really odd with the natural colour of my lips coming through. But this shimmer, the iridescentness is really nice. So I'm going to pat this off, try a liquid lipstick and then try and put this over the top. So I'm going to take the Makeup Academy Velvet Lip Lacquer in Symphonic as it's the only light purple liquid lipstick I own. This was £3 from Superdrug. Um, so I'm just going to layer that on. Okay, so this is showing up kind of patchy on camera, which is not good for already off to not a great start. Let's just get cracking with this. This is just, it's not going well. But I'm gonna take the purpley pencil. I'm not entirely sure whether I'm gonna try this or not. I might try it on my finger, because the pencil's just so harsh, it just rubs off whatever you have on. It's just taking the color off. Okay, I'm gonna reapply the liquid lip in the places that it took it off, and I'm gonna scrap the pencil and just try the lip gloss. Look, this may just be my lips going, just stop putting shit on me, just stop. <laughs> right, so while that's drying, I'm gonna show you the lips lip gloss, um, which is this purpley shade. Um, but what I'm gonna do is, again, on the box, as it's galaxy themed, there's hints of blue and pink, so I'm gonna go back with my accent brush and take that Morphe palette again and add some blue and some pink to match the look that we are going for. I've blended in a little more pink I'm not liking this at all so far, but we're gonna persevere. So I'm gonna go over with the purple lip gloss and add some sheen to it. At least this makes my lips feel more moisturized than they actually are. <laughs> 
So they are quite shiny and stuff, but obviously a gloss is going to make them look shiny anyway. Let's try the glitter. So again, I'm just going to layer the glitter over the top and hope for the best. This time we have a more lilac-y glitter, um, which is more pinky kind of toned. Um, I'm really excited to try this. So I'm going to take the same flat brush and again just go for it using the glitter as the using the gloss as the adhesive. And that is the final look. And with no ring light. I'm not a fan of these lip kits. I mean, maybe if I had a cleaner line, it would look better. I just feel like the, the pencil and the gloss tends to rub off whatever you have on underneath. It's not strong enough on its own for it to be a proper lip look. Love the glitters. Um, what I'm gonna do is on my hand, just layer the pencil, the gloss and the glitter just to show you what it would look like without anything underneath. Oh my god, I just put the gloss on top of the pencil and the gloss, I mean the pencil just vanished. Um, so that's what it looks like with nothing underneath, which looks a little bit better than what I've got on. So maybe I should try that way. Maybe we should try it how it's intended, okay? Fuck it. We'll do a third look for this video, a third look. I'll be back purple was so hard to remove and I've removed like all the foundation from around here so now you can see like my bad skin nice so I'm gonna try this one last time I'm gonna use only the products that come within the kit half white half purple let's see how this goes this is my very last grasping at straws here trying to get this these lip kits to look good so Time for the glosses, so let's take the white gloss. Okay, now for the glitter. As my brush is dirty with purple glitter for the white one, I'm just gonna... Cool, pack it on with my finger. Kind of pretty, I guess. Right, now for the purple. Maybe I'll try packing that on with my finger as well to keep it fair. There we have it. Again, on camera, it doesn't look as good because the reflection is making it difficult to see in close detail. Um, doesn't stick very well to this inner part as you can see there's just this evident line where it's not sticking and where my mouth's closed there's like a gap um, maybe my advice for these lip kits then would be to keep it simple don't layer anything else underneath literally just go for the lip kits I think this white side would be really cute if you were just trying to keep the lips relatively subtle as subtle as one can be with glitter um, and really play up the eyes like maybe with this eye look and then with this really subtle white shimmery glitter could be kind of cool. I wouldn't say it's a hit but I wouldn't say it's totally a miss. Um, I think I'm probably more likely to get a lot of use out of the glitters using them in eye looks and face looks rather than on my lips. I probably won't ever use the glosses again, I probably won't ever use the pencils again. But for £3, the idea is pretty cool. Um, I really hope that video wasn't too traumatising for you guys. Um, I'm glad I did try it again without anything underneath because I do like it more without anything. So there is some salvation to this look. <laughs> um, let me know what you guys think down below. Would you buy these? Would you try these? Um, do you have any other things you can recommend for me to try? Because um, this was really fun giving these a go. 
um, yeah, just let me know what you thought, recommend some more stuff for me to try out, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.